What, what is happening? Good morning, darling. My Vora, it has been years since I used this cell. What? Why do you even want me? I don't have money. Oh, but you do have something I want. Are... are you... Oh, so you heard of me. I... Now, good night. I promise you won't feel a thing. What did you do? It's similar to an anesthetic in a hospital. Puts them to sleep so they won't feel what's about to happen. Consider it similar to open heart surgery, except he won't be waking up. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying to. This, this is bad. The poor occults. It won't be long now before they find my blood. That is correct. It won't take them long. I don't even know what they are planning to do with these peaceful souls. Look, Vora. They're missing one now. Yes. I don't think humans are able to process criminals that fast. I mean, look at me. It took them months to burn me at the stake. Guess some things don't change, even after centuries. Humans are a very strange population. Yet you chose us to be your divine. We were once human ourselves, you know. That is true. Child, you understand that you can't just enter this room without an appointment? I know. I'm sorry. I just... I want to know more about what's happening with my case. Your case? It is still deep under evaluation. Vora, please. You know that my decisions are final. I... I know. I'm sorry for speaking out of line, your divine. I'm glad to see you're finally learning. But... I am curious, what happened with Takari? Me. Viola, don't you think that this is inappropriate? You must understand that Hickory has a complicated history. It's not that complicated. I actually... I know what happened to my bloodline. You... you do? Yes. I'm sorry for... Holding that secret for all of these centuries, your divine. You know you can't keep me in here forever. You coward! Hey, quiet down, will you? Don't you dare. You're just afraid of what's inside of me. We all are hens. We are putting you to death. What? I don't even get a trial? What is this corruption? The only here truly corrupted here is you, isn't it? I was blessed by the goddess Vora herself. That's a likely story. You see, the day I was blessed, I was arrested for witchcraft. However, there was a guard that was nice enough.
He was nice enough to let me out, so I could see the one thing that truly mattered to me. You're finally back. I know. Ace was trying to draw attention away from me. How is she? Missing her mother. She's beginning to recognize when you're not here. I see. I had a daughter, born months before I was discovered to be blessed with Vora's gift. Vora told me you would be blessed, as long as you carry my blood, my dear Astrid. I, I don't have much longer. You'll be escaping with Anastasia. What? I'm getting executed. Likely burned at the stake. I don't know when, but I would suspect whenever the monarch decides. It could be this next sunrise. What corrupted? It's likely because Astrid is the princess's illegitimate daughter. The swift death sentence makes sense. I'm a harlot in their eyes. The fact that I've been blessed is just another charge. Right. My darling, I'll be sure to watch over you. But the world was just not ready for my kind of people. What is this? It's a map. There is a settlement of those who support all of those Bora blessed. Take the merchant's carriage out tonight. Take Astrid and claim asylum as one of her warriors. Take my place and whatever you do, don't let Astrid know about her bloodline. She must make it stronger. Right. Thank you. I must return to my him <laughs> arrangements. Please take care of her. It was incredibly irresponsible, I know. But what else was I supposed to do? Be killed and have my daughter be known to be killed herself? I made my decision as a mother to protect her and to allow her to carry on our bloodline of young and talented mages. She eventually learned she had magic, but didn't realize to what extent was. The following day I was burned alive. It makes me so happy to know that she didn't suffer as a result of something she was born into and she got to grow our bloodline. Why did you never let me know? I was the first of our kind. What do you expect? We were all learning. I apologize, Ikari, for my negligence to your family. Honestly, it was probably for the better. As my bloodline grew, I actually lost track, until Daniel came along, and I was reminded of the strength my family had, until he died, and I felt I had to distance myself as I was clearly too dangerous. And since I came back to Heike, it's only made that more clear. I'm a danger to my blood. I guess we all have our curses. Violet's blood dies young. Yeah, don't remind me. I guess I kinda hit a soft spot, huh? Just a bit. 
I wonder if the next one will suffer such an awful fate, or if it will be swift for them. Guess time will tell. Who... who are you? Who... who am I? Where am I? I wasn't expecting visitors today. Sir, are you okay? I felt... so much pain. Then... relief. What was that? Sir, you were not anticipated to show up for years, meaning... You faced something unnatural. I... Uh... Assuming you're recently deceased, you likely don't have any recollection of your death. And you won't for a bit. I was... killed. This man... took my core. What an awful way to gain more power. I should outlaw this practice in our code. Am I gonna be okay? You will be okay. Please make yourself at home. This will be your home for the next 90 days. What? You can begin a new life after 90 days. I'll need your previous records to decide what you should carry on as. Thank you. For now, rest. The afterlife is quite different than living in the mortal realm. What do we do? Depends. If it's another mage, we do nothing. A duel is a duel. What if... it's a human? Well, then, we have a dangerous human on our hands and want to watch out for. I'll be calling for an emergency meeting. Please, Hickory. And Viola? I think we both know who that human is. Neat. Do you two know where you're even going to go? Well, no, but if Rose gets apprehended, she's at risk. Are your boyfriends even going to know? I mean, this really isn't their problem. We're the ones with powers. And we don't want to burden you guys with our cores. Well, maybe we'll hide up in the Christmas cabin until everything settles down. This shouldn't even be an answer, though. I know, and I'm sorry, but this is what we have to do. I can't let Emil suffer through another disappearance. Or worse, charges for Jeanette because she was harboring me. Then, at least let me come with you. We'll escape up to the mountains together. Thank you, Celeste. Besides, Emil and Hunter have suffered enough because of me. Are you okay, Heike? Yeah. I just... I made them go through so much, without even knowing it. I can manage this awful time without them. Sarah and Alexis are escaping now. We need to finish up now! We're almost there! Just a few more things to pack away. That's good to know, we'll be heading up shortly. Aren't we getting the girls too? Of course! We can't leave them behind, especially Rose and Heike. They're a target like us. I know, Jeanette. If it makes you feel any better, there's a finished basement if you want to keep Heike safe. Appreciated. Hey, Emil. Yeah? Are you... scared? Of course I am! But that's why we have to make sure everyone else is safe. Do you really think 
that someone has it out for us? Comfortable with that assumption, yes. So much for that normal life she wanted, huh? Where are they? Did they already run off? I guess so. Hands up. Do you recognize that voice? I sure as hell do. Now turn around and put your knees on the ground. Baby waiting for you 